Greetings, members, one and all of the Salivation Nation. This man could cause silver to skyrocket. Let's explore! Yes, I know that sounds alarming, but you know what? There is a situation in a case where that could come to pass based off of previous proposals. And that man could, and is more likely than not at this point, to become President of the United States, talking about Joseph R. Biden. That's right. Unfortunately, for many of us out there, with every passing day, it's becoming more and more likely that Joe Biden will become president, despite mounting evidence, much of it becoming very evident and clear, that shows that he did not win the election legitimately. But sadly, we will have our very first installed president of the United States based off of a fraudulent election. But that's really not the point of this video. The point of this video is how him being propped up as someone who is uh, had been, for most of his 47-year career, considered somewhat of a mainstream Democrat, is basically being propped up by the left. And the left has been uh, touting what is known as the New Green Deal. And uh, if it is implemented, as is uh, many people think that it should be on the left, well, that's going to be a lot of silver being utilized for solar panels, for electronics, that is going to quote, help reduce the carbon footprint, so to speak, and save the environment. Uh, but uh, nonetheless, here we have an article that is shared with us uh, on coinweek.com through Blanchard & Company. Now, keep in mind, Blanchard & Company is a precious metals outfit, and uh, they are certainly um, one of those organizations that has um, a purpose and agenda to sell you gold and silver. But I do think it is something to keep in mind, uh, considering how policy and how politics can have a great profound impact, especially if the government takes control of something like energy. Um, the presidential win by President or by Donald, by Democrat Joe Biden, may usher in a new era for government policies from taxes to trade to energy. And of course, they're assuming that that he won, uh, which is not the case. He he is being installed as we speak. It's happening before our very eyes. Um, and uh, indeed, Biden's energy platform and priorities would look very different from Trump's. And I would say that would be the case, even if he wasn't pressured by the far left. Silver's up 35 percent this year. Here is why it could go even higher next year. During his campaign, Biden released an ambitious green energy agenda, uh, which, if even partially enacted, could unleash a new uptrend in the silver market. And that is true. In recent months, Biden called for a carbon pollution-free power sector uh, by 2035. A development like this would require a massive acceleration in renewable wind and solar power here in the United States. Um, and we kind of had talked about this in two previous videos um, before the election happened of what the possibility would be if Joe Biden were to actually legitimately win. But now that he's being installed, well, more than likely if they win the Senate, you're going to see a lot of this stuff happen. Or if they steal the Senate, because um, in Georgia is where this smoking gun was found, um, if they steal the Senate in, in July, well, or in January, well, all bets are off the table. We will probably likely see this new Green Deal uh, come into place. If Biden gains traction on goals to stem global warming, silver stands to gain. Why? Silver is a key ingredient used in solar panels. The metal, which is already traded at a six-year high in 2020, could see new industrial demand in a green energy push amid a tightening supply situation which could send prices soaring. Industrial demand for silver and solar panels is not a new trend. It's been growing in recent years. For example, silver's use in photovoltaics increased by 7% in 2019. 
and is forecast to continue to move higher as governments turn to renewable energy sources like solar. Yet, an official move towards the wider use of solar power, as imagined in Biden's plan, could double silver's price, Peter Thomas, a senior vice president at Chicago-based broker Zaner Group, told uh, Bloomberg earlier this year. And you think about it, where is it now? It's about $24 an ounce. Um, so doubling it would still just barely get us to the highs where it was in 2011. Analysts at Bank of America echoed this outlook in a research note. Industrial demand ultimately moves the needle for silver prices, according to a team of Bank of America strategists led by Michael Widmer. Uh, and I will stop right there because, yes, Industrial demand will move the needle. Demand in general will move the needle. But what has happened um, over the uh, some of these reports coming out from the Silver Institute, well, it looks like there's more demand than there is surplus. Um, the supply is outpaced by the demand. That should send the prices going up. But it hasn't. But, of course, they are reporting those numbers a little bit differently than they had in the past. We covered that in prior videos um, so we really don't know exactly how to interpret that data. And not only that, but, um, you know, I think we would need to see a lot more of it because there is a plentiful supply of silver out there. And uh, but on the other hand of the spectrum, we did see increased demand for coins, rounds and bars um, made of silver. Um, and during the beginnings of the coronavirus epidemic, when the prices actually dropped um, on the spot price, but the physical demand, we saw very high premiums. We saw another kind of spot price forming that was very, really, really fluid. And that is the increase in premiums for these pieces uh, that have developed through the supply chain, or that not through the supply chain, but through the commerce channels out there. Increased uh, premiums really is essentially a secondary spot price. And we've seen that um, for those particular pieces there. So to actually see silver spot price go up from industrial as a commodity, I think we'll see this and could see this if uh, they get their way with this new green deal. Um, so additional industrial demand for larger use of solar energy would catapult silver prices even higher. $26.87 an ounce as investors flock to the precious metals and alternative store of value during the COVID-19 uh, pandemic. Of course, right now, as the recording of this video, it's just over $24. An increase in industrial applications of silver, however, could catapult prices even higher. And uh, the bank forecast for annual silver demand currently is at uh, 2,285 tons, could climb 87% over the next 15 years if the U.S. energy sector accelerated its move into renewable energy. Now, something else we have to take into account here is essentially being able to do more with less technology is an amazing thing amazing thing progress in that regards to where it may take you know 20 grams or so of silver uh, for each solar panel uh, well maybe in five years it may take uh, 15 grams or 10 grams they may be able to do more with less and uh, sooner or later in time we're going to have graphene rear its ugly head, and they will be able to mass produce graphene to uh, all but replace silver in many of these applications. Um, nonetheless, the article wraps up here by saying that Bank of America analysts say that a green stimulus under Biden presidency could drive silver to $35 an ounce in 2021. And I don't think that is a is a very far cry. I think that is a realistic uh, assessment and prediction, uh, especially if they get their way, we could see a climb there uh, very quickly in 2021. In fact, I believe that regardless that silver will climb to $30 at least sometime in 2021, even if we have a Trump presidency. Over the medium term, silver could take a run at $50 an ounce level. And again, I don't think that is a necessarily far out there prediction for silver uh, if they able to get their way. You think about it. Um, if the uh, Democrats uh, regain control of the Senate and they have control of the House and the presidency, they can do anything and they will. 
They will do this Green New Deal. They will do many of the things to secure themselves elections for future um, um, electoral years, election years. And that means that they're going to um, continue to implement these policies that are going to, well, be a demand not only for silver for use in photovoltaics and other areas and other applications uh, regard related to the environment, uh, but it will also uh, cause more dollars to be printed. And what happens when dollars are printed? Well, as you see, I've, I've posted and many times again, I've got a playlist of the of the uh, the silver to dollar ratio, and that is how many dollars are printed year on year as opposed to the amount of silver mined year on year. And so that is a telling a tale of what is to come with precious metals in general and silver in particular. So there you have it. And so again, uh, yes, the title was a little bit, you know, uh, it cost, it's, 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 it's shocking to say how this man could cause silver to skyrocket, but really is true. Um, and uh, we'll see how it plays out with an, under a Biden presidency. So there you have it. So post your thoughts in the comment section below. If you found, hope you found this video insightful, useful, and you may disagree with it. Feel free to post your thoughts about that in the comment section below too. One thing I do try to do is to keep an open dialogue. I posted a very strong opinion on this video and have on other videos too, especially in my live streams, and encourage. Uh, counterpoint of view as long as, as it's respectful. Um, it's part of what the channel is about, like the free exchange of ideas um, for sure. Uh, but I do encourage you to um, show some support to the channel by pressing the thumbs up button, even if you disagree. Um, and also to uh, click the notification bell. Um, very important because many people aren't, don't know when I post a video, I get people that talk about how uh, can you do a video about this, Uncle Sal? It's like, I did a video on that last month. You know, and they just missed it. Uh, but uh, very much. Uh, so there you have it. So I hope you enjoyed. like to extend a multitude of gratitude to you all for taking the time to watch this video. And encourage you to please rate, share, comment, and subscribe. Ah! Uh...